I shouldn't have been born. My own mother didn't want me. There must have been something wrong with me because nobody wanted me, you know? Nobody wanted to raise me, love me, take care of me, let me be their daughter. Liberty grew up with deep feelings of rejection after her mother left her and her brother on their father's doorstep. She wanted to party. She wanted to, to do her thing, and she couldn't do that with two little babies. And so, you know, she just decided to give us up. After several turbulent years with her father, Liberty moved back in with her mom, who introduced her to drugs and alcohol. At a young age, her mother also exposed her to the occult. She always had uh, a large bookshelf that was full of uh, witchcraft books with spells, chants, um, ways to curse people. She had tarot cards, a Ouija board, all that. Everything was, that was normal um, in my mom's household. When Liberty was 14, she had an argument with her mother's abusive boyfriend and found herself rejected again. I came home off the bus and there was a box of stuff sitting outside. There was a note that my mom had left that said, um, he's in, you're out. You have to find somewhere else to live. Uh, this is my reality. My mom doesn't love me. She, she never wanted me. She doesn't care. She found acceptance in the party scene and had relationships with men who gave her a place to stay and supplied her with drugs. I did whatever I had to do to survive. I was alone, I was lost. The crystal meth and the drinking was very heavy. I mean, it was a daily thing. It wasn't just like, let's go party on a Friday night. I mean, it was every single day, drinking drugs, drinking drugs, staying up for days. She also began experiencing strange phenomena and some unsettling symptoms. I was hearing voices, I was seeing things, um, I would, get up in the night and I would feel like something was speaking to me and uh, was coming after me. I had sores, uh, little open sores around my body. A friend's parents set up a meeting with their pastor. Liberty reluctantly agreed to see him. I had no belief in God or spiritual beings or anything like that. And he basically just said, all these are symptoms of uh, a demonic attack on you. and. The only way to deal with it is rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Days later, she had a terrifying encounter. These dark images began to just cover the walls, and they were like enclosing in on me like they were coming after me. I did what the pastor said, and I rebuked in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And then the fear was gone, and everything I was feeling was gone. It was literally just gone. The demons, everything just disappeared. Liberty says she learned there was power in the name of Jesus, but knew little else about him until a few days later when she was watching TV and came across the 700 Club. Pat Robertson says, you know, is there anyone watching by TV that, you know, if you'd like to ask Jesus into your life, um, pray this prayer with me. I just uh, felt like I needed this Jesus that could make demons flee. I don't have to wait to go to church and be called to the altar. I can just sit right here in my living room and accept Christ, you know. She surrendered her life to Christ, then fell into a deep sleep. When she awoke, she was in a struggle for her life. Something was holding me down and uh, just not letting me up, not letting me speak. If feeling like a hand was over my mouth, I just began to say, Jesus, I was just trying to get the words out and I said, Jesus, it was very muffled, Jesus, and I felt like it was at the top of my lungs. And, and, and the thing that was covering my mouth just was slowly leaving, like letting go. The last thing I yelled was, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And at that moment, uh, whatever was holding me down removed itself. And then I heard this really loud scream, like an evil, loud, wretched squeal, sounded as if it was leaving. It could no longer reside because Jesus was now the Lord of my life. Liberty knew she was free. She began to throw away anything that connected her to the darkness she once accepted as normal. I knew that the Lord was 
was basically in that one moment cleaning up my whole life. He was just like, it's all going. You know, I'm, I'm, you're letting it all go. I'm taking it all away from you. You're being set free. I finally was me. I was never me before. I was never, who's Liberty? You know, who, who's this, this girl that was born um, with no purpose, no value, um, no reason to live? He took everything out of me and healed me of, of all the, the horrible things that the world basically dished out on me. My life has changed forever because of that day. Today, Liberty co-pastors a church with her husband in Arizona, reaching out to people who need to be set free by the love of God. This is what I've been waiting for my entire life. And this is what it feels like to know a love that you never got, you never received before. I was born for a purpose, and it's to serve Jesus Christ and to do His work. He's the only one that can set you free.